Okay, hi guys, welcome to the show. Today, I'm gonna to share my <laughs> Grail watch buying disaster. I don't even know where to begin. Um, so, different video as planned, but I'm gonna to go to the park. It's really, really hot. Read a book, find somewhere in the shade. Talk about my first impressions. So if you're expecting a review or something like that, um, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit different than planned. However, I'm gonna discuss my feelings, my inspiration. Uh, I, I might do a history of the day day at some point. I, I should do, really. Um, but this, as this is a personal purchase to commemorate a special occasion, um, something a little bit different. Anyway, let's roll the intro while I get to the park. Right, so um, what happened? Well, the day that we shot that sub video, and I was considering it, it was interesting spending a day with the watch and then you really learn if you're gonna buy it or not. And I was tempted, I really was, but at the end of the day, you know, I think somebody said it in the comments really well, um, go full gold or go home, you know? So, anyway, so this is obviously to commemorate the uh, the new phase of my prof well I guess it's professional life in terms of watches now which is so surreal um, and I thought well why not better to come back to where it all started you might recognize this bridge it was actually in the movie Serpico uh, with Al Pacino uh, we are of course in Astoria Queens where it all started so kind of a fitting tribute anyway okay so I'm, I'm, I'm babbling. Um, I was stalking the Watchbox website. Uh, shout out to Austin, by the way. I was waiting for the right gold day date. And every time I, there was one, I was not quick enough, it sold out. And Austin was like, wait, wait, you know, another one will come in stock. So literally every morning I was refreshing, refreshing the page. I worked my butt off, to put it politely. So I, want, I really wanted to, to mark the occasion with something special. Sure enough, I was just about to get on the train back to New York. Literally one was put on the website that morning. So I phoned up Austin and I said, uh, any chance you can uh, get to me before I get to the train and I'll buy it. It's a bit vulgar di discussing money, but the one I was considering was uh, like closer to 20 and this one is closer to 10. And it was really good condition. And I said, look, I'll put a deposit down. Is there any way you can, you can meet me? And if I like it, I'll take it. So, yeah, Austin, sure enough, he came to the Watchbox studio because there's two studios. There's one where they do all the editing and I'm sorry about the noise. So Harrison, shout out to Harrison, uh, one of the team at Watchbox, grabbed the ca this camera, we recorded it. You know, me unwrapping the box. It has this beautiful old school box. I'll insert a shot so you can see it. That first moment, and it, you know, it clicked. It was the magic moment, right? And we recorded, you know, it's it's like that grail moment where you get your watch. And I was elated and um, unwrapping it and trying it on for the first time, having it sized in the watch box store. I got home, checked the footage, everything was fine. So a week passed, you know, I got in with my work. I put it in the bank. I was going to save it to record this video. Took the card out, and this happened. It was blank. Now, I don't know what happened. I did not delete it. The only thing is probably Hugo with his, with his little naughty T-Rex hands came in and deleted it, but that's the only thing I can think of. Then I thought, well, maybe it's the wrong card. I searched for all the cards and sure enough, the, the disc had corrupted and I lost all that footage of the day. I had done a vlog, I'd gone to the barbers, I'd even shot myself. It was a full blog from, from, from morning to night, getting on the train, everything. So as you can imagine, I was distraught. I mean, I lost a full day's filming. I'd lost a momentous moment. Um, sorry about the light. You know, that when I when I got this and sized it and everything and um, <sighs> gutted, I'm gutted. You know, on the one hand, I'm, I'm thankful it wasn't like a review that I'd spent several days filming. Like, 
if you've seen my behind the scenes video I did last year, you know, when you spend four or five days filming and then you got several days more of editing and that's soul destroying. So it wasn't as, you know, I can still talk about the watch. It's just a shame that moment has been lost and there's nothing I can do. And actually it makes me appreciate mechanical timepieces so much more, you know? Um, yeah, oh, God, I'm still, still so upset about that anyway there's nothing i can do why did i go with the day date well queens is very important to me i've been here 10 years i came to this park many many times i did so many videos here it's an integral part of the channel and people are panicking oh you're leaving new york you know when i when i posted on instagram and stuff i was inundated people were like let's let's have dinner you know but look i'm always going to be here half my family's here uh, and some of the people that inspired me to buy this are from here. So this is the reference 18038, the quintessential late 80s uh, day date. It's a little bit kind of jingly jangly, but you know it's got serious heft to it. I adore it. The dial is is almost the kind of salmon pink. You know, it's not like the full yellow, yellow gold, the kind of you know Tony Soprano gold. And that reminds me, there is obviously a negative aspect to this. You know, the Glen Gary, Glen Ross, I've mentioned them a million times. You see this watch? You see this watch? Yeah. That watch costs more than your car. It's a scumbaggery element. Uh, but I don't care, you know. Ciao ragazzi, benvenuti al canale. Oggi parliamo di Rolex, non quelli acciaio, solo gold. Questo è il mio wristwatch check. Ho comprato questo meraviglioso cosa a Watchbox. E poi dopo cuciniamo un po' di pasta, beviamo un po' di vino e vita bella. <laughs> ok, ca. <laughs> You know, there's trashy connotations, there's, there's classy connotations. While there's always the Tony Sopranos of this world, um, there's also Sir Jackie Stewart, the, the British racing legend, you know, who wears his on the croc strap. It's also remarkably versatile. I wore this out and it works with casual attire. You, like, I know people who wear these in a tracksuit, okay? I would probably never do that. Well, maybe at home, but it works just as well with the tux, you know. This has the sapphire crystal as well. It's the caliber 3055, so you got the quick set, but it's not as expensive as some of the newer models. I mean, a new day date is 35K and yeah, it's a bit rich for me. I mean, I could see myself buying watches of that level later on when I'm a little bit older, but not a Rolex, not a gold Rolex. I, I prefer um, gold Patek or something like Hort Horology, you know, something a little bit more refined. Launched in 1956, the day date was built on the three pillars of Rolex. It was the first waterproof and self-winding chronometer wristwatch to offer a modern calendar with an instantaneous day display spelt out in full in a window on the dial in addition to the date. Precision, reliability, legibility and wrist presence rendered the day date the ultimate status symbol watch. A watch that has retained its inimitable elegance and ability to make a striking statement ever since. Commonly referred to as the President's Watch, the Rolex Day Date has adorned the wrists and accompanied some of the great politicians and leaders of the world. In fact, more presidents, leaders and visionaries than any other. I'm at quite an interesting location. I'm actually sitting on the bridge. So you can see. Yeah, pretty cool. Of course, the full presidential bracelet with the hidden clasp. It feels a little bit more like jewelry rather than, you know, my dress watches. And I, I, I'm sure people are going to say, oh, you, you could have bought, bought a Patek or you could have bought a Vacher on this or a Adumar. Look, I got my hor horology pieces. I got my Adumar Piguet. Uh, I'm not going to include the quartz royal oak, but I got the little moon phase uh, day day. The Frotsham, of course. My long term goal is is that uh, Roman Gautier, the micro rotor, which well, I'll make uh, a reality one day. But this is such a great do it all watch. It works well with like a t shirt and jeans like I'm wearing today, and it also works 
Formula tyre. It's got, it's got a real elegance. And I have to say, this version, I love it because it has the tiny little Roman numerals. And look at that dial in, in low light, because I'm not in the sun right now, but it looks kind of subdued. It's not a brash, you know, loud, gaudy gold. Um, so I really, really like that. It kind of, you know, keeps it a little bit more understated for a big gold. <laughs> It's so, you know, my Italian side's like, yeah, you know, gold, gold. My, my English side's, no, 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 no. How frightfully awful. Um, no, it's not that bad. Actually, uh, my mum, I'd send a picture of my mum. I only have one picture left of that fateful day um, to commemorate the, the moment, unfortunately. And uh, she really, really liked it, which is, you know, somebody somebody that refined, sophisticated, educated, cultured, somebody I really, really look up to for them to approve. It's a big thing, you know, especially somebody that comes from a particular world, you know. Um, yeah, anyway, I stopped talking about that, but anyway. Ti mando un bacio. Yeah, hi, mum. <laughs> so I'm over the moon, you know. Okay, yeah, it was a disaster, but in the end, whatever. There's a train train oh well hold on hold on one sec such a great watch and it's different from my submariner and my explorer uh, and my pepsi I, last time i got the explorer i said yeah that, that, that's it no more no more rolexes <laughs> famous last one. no but this is so different i think 36 millimeter size i think it just it complements my collection no this time i really am done with rolex maybe an air king no 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 no, no. <laughs> i also think you have to be a certain age um to pull this off uh, maybe that's just me i i think if you're too young and and you suddenly have this big gold and it's not that fla flashy i mean the, the the bezel does kind of do its thing right but you have to be of certain age I also like this watch for a very specific reason it reminds me of my friend uh, shout out to Joe Bananas somebody that you know I really respect a real man who who and I say that very deliberately because it's somebody that has been there has has taken knocks and still gets back up gets stuff done somebody i i admire tremendously and he's a big day date guy in fact he told me yeah go day date you know you meet so many interesting people when you go through life people that ultimately they stick by you they're loyal they're 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 truthful you respect you learn things you inspire each other um true friends you know people that that are there they don't let you down, they don't lie to you. Because unfortunately you're gonna meet people like that as well. And I always make a point of trying to surround myself with you know, good people, honest people that, that work hard and are gonna propel you as well as you propel them. You know, it's a mutual thing, a real friendship, not people that are immature or, or somehow lacking and, and, and eventually let you down, which happens all too often, unfortunately. So this watch, also, in a strange kind of way, commemorates him. Um, he he kind of was my inspiration um, for for the final decision. Interestingly, he also has <laughs> the two tone uh, sub which I was trying on. But in the end, actually, it's fantastic. I'm, I have the ability now with Watchbox spend a day with the watch and really get to know it. And I wouldn't do business with somebody I don't personally you know i put my money where my mouth is with this the case it's sharp edges i checked all the links because you know make sure the gold hasn't been over polished the lugs this is why you go with somebody like them you know you got to go with the best but anyway we got there in the end i'm just happy that the watch itself wasn't the disaster um of course i'm always forever gonna miss that footage and it's a real real shame i didn't get to share it with you guys but at least i got the watch the, the perfect watch I love that contrasting bracelet. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Who knew going all the way gold was, could be as cool as this? I never thought a gold watch could be as versatile. And, and of course, you've got the Oyster Case, 100 meters water resistance. So wear it in the rain and doing the washing up if you <laughs> want to be like a boss washing up. Um, but I think what I was trying to say about you have to be a certain age is there's a maturity to it to pull off you know solid gold big hunk of gold because if you're too young and you're not you're not 
at that level where you've earned it. I just think it cheapens it, you know. And yeah, it is a stereotype. Yeah, it is the the captain of industry watch, right? But I think I've worked hard enough and I've earned it um, to 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 get something like this. I'm trying to justify it now. So yeah, just a quick vlog today. I'm gonna read do quick. Uh, book check there we I'm finishing this bit of old Nietzsche I have to admit this it's it's difficult you have to like reread it several times sometimes each each paragraph just to really sink in but it's um, the classic discussion on Apollonian versus uh, Dionysian uh, mor morals and and and, and uh, the the everlasting conflict that is within us all I guess that is perfectly encapsulated by the Greek gods uh, that where the name derives of course anyway I'm talking about books now <laughs> you're not interested it's fine it's fine anyway hopefully ne normal content next week uh, I'm definitely gonna buy new memory cards I learned my lesson there so anyway guys I'm gonna leave it there I'm gonna enjoy my book thank you so much for watching uh, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, found it useful, and as always guys, I will catch you, hopefully, fingers crossed, if this thing ever bloody works in the next one. Okay, ciao. <laughs> that should serve the dastardly peasant right. This is a public service reminder for the good gentry. Please follow us on Instagram, join the Facebook UGWC group and click on the bell to keep notified of new videos. Don't forget to keep it positive, keep it gentry, onwards and upwards. Thank you.